also on the ballot counties and cities around the state deciding to allow cannabis business operations. While the state still has to decide where businesses will be able to sell medical marijuana, Evening Edition's Caleb Barnes shares what the approvals may mean for cannabis and counties in Kentucky. The Paris Bourbon County Chamber of Commerce knew the issue of medical cannabis was inevitable. And the question was, did we want this in our communities? On election day, Bourbon County voted to allow medical marijuana businesses in the area. What it does is it's going to have more regulations on it. Um, it's hopefully going to allow people to, to utilize the dispensary and it's going to keep money in our community. Bourbon County was one of more than 100 different jurisdictions across Kentucky that had a medical cannabis question and it passed in every one. I think that speaks volumes about where we are as a society and how we feel about uh, marijuana as a treatment for ailments. With statewide acceptance, there are opportunities to create safer practices and generate revenue. The other big thing that I think that's worth mentioning that a lot of patients talk about is uh, being able to purchase it and not purchase it on the street because a lot of uh, cannabis that we see purchased on the street has been mixed with fentanyl or cocaine or meth. You know, there were some numbers that were thrown around, you know, um, close to a million dollars in additional tax revenue that will be created by these businesses that have been approved to come to Georgetown and Scott County. Now it's a waiting game to see where the approved businesses end up. It's a little bit of a shot in the dark right now on whether we're going to have um, the opportunity to sell in our community, but at least that, that opportunity is open for people to come in. Caleb Barnes, Evening Edition.